Problem 1. Aristotelian argument. See, we discussed in class how Aristotle believed motion to take place. He said that if you throw an object in the air, the air in the path of the object basically makes, an, makes a way for the object to do its motion. The air here will be replaced by the object and the air will move behind. We reasoned out that this argument is not so sound to give why the motion takes place, to explain why the motion takes place, because what about an experiment in vacuum? Vacuum doesn't have any medium, but still, if you throw an object, the object will fall to the ground. This was precisely the experiment which was done by Galileo. Somebody may argue saying that it's not at all possible to create a complete vacuum and that's why this problem is given how we can give an alternative argument which is not based on this uh, vacuum business to reason against that of aristotle that is motion takes place by mutual displacement of the medium by the object well the argument is very simple consider a spinning top the top is spinning in this direction and all this this is not the usual kinematics motion of straight line but still it's a motion because the points on the spinning top are uh, moving and note that the volume of the medium which the spinning top occupies remains same there is no replacement of the medium happening by the spinning top yet the motion is possible so this is an alternative argument um, against that of Aristotle's.